Good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm going to do a video here to explain to a lot of you new members how to use a bottle bobber. Um, it's very simple. Take a disposable beverage bottle after you've finished it, right? Take your bottle bobber and put it over the neck. So. Like so. I like to pick certain bottles that I like the neck of. Um, there's different drinks I really like, which is funny because, you know, I buy them because I like the neck and the way the bottle bobber is going to fit on. But the bottle bobber is designed to fit most disposable beverage bottles, ranging from a four ounce water bottle all the way up to a three liter jug. So, really, it depends on how much flotation you want to use. Um, how big a bait you're floating. The other thing is you select your bottle Depending on how much wind you want to grab that bottle and move it. Okay The cool thing if you're fishing a river and You can't bump like myself is you can let that bottle bobber catch the current and float downstream The bottle bobber is going to naturally go where the water takes it, right? So if you're casting into the river, you're planting that bait wherever you throw it and it lands. The bottle bobber is going to naturally float where injured bait fish would um, or anything else going downstream. So it's effective at finding fish and it keeps you from having to walk. Um, if you put enough line on your reel, you can let this thing run down the river pretty far. And what we do is set our drag uh, at the right um, weight to limit how fast the bottle barber can go and spool line. Or if I'm not being lazy, I can use my thumb and let out a little at a time. We've caught a lot of fish doing that. Um, also, if I was anchored up in my boat with the wind in my back fishing a point, I could let the bottle bobber float into the point and cover a lot of ground that way. Um, kind of like drift fishing. So the cool thing for bank fishermen on a lake um, is if you're fishing a windblown point, typically, unless you can cast a thousand yards, you're always gonna have the wind in your face casting out to the point. If you select your area right and use bottle bobbers, you can use the waves, get you a nice tall bottle or two or three liter bottle, and let the waves move your bait towards the point or let it drag your bait across the lake. Uh, in essence, you can drift fish and be stationary. So it'd be the same concept behind drifting, except for you don't have to be moving to pull the baits because the bottle bobber we'll pull the baits with the wind so that is one cool thing about bottle bobbers and one way it will help you catch more fish the other cool thing is a lot of us aren't out fishing as much as we'd like to be and when we go our time's precious so the least amount of time we spend cutting line and retying to change our methods or tackle the better with the bottle bobber you can be tied up you could even be drift fishing and take your drift weight off and start fishing with the bottle bobber without having to retie so you're just going to take a little loop stick it in that hole there take the loop over the friction plug And then cinch that down, just snug it up a little so it stays right there. Now you want to have your line about right here. We found that when you do that, it keeps from cutting the tail off here. Okay, and it's a wider point here, so you don't have as much pressure on your line, so you don't have to worry about it breaking. You put the friction plug in, just like you would an earplug. 
and that's going to hold your line at whatever depth you select. The bottle will be oriented upright like this, right down there, like so. Okay. Change your mine. You don't have to cut and retie. Just take that loose. Okay. So that's one cool thing. The other cool thing is you can use a bottle bobber like a slip bobber. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to rig this up and show you how that works. Okay, so I rigged this up, save a little time. I have just a regular old bobber stop. I like to use the rubber ones. I couldn't find one here in town today for some reason to make this video. So I'm just using that style there. Um, bobber stop here. Bobber stop there with the bead. And so I can set the depth I want this to end up at, cast it out, and have it stop, and then float my bait. And I just have a hook here Get a sinker on the end of it so I don't hook myself, just for demonstration purposes. Um, here's how you can use the bottle bobber, like some other known catfish floats. So you can rig it up just like that. Okay. This is cool because you can go from drift fishing with the drift weight to fishing shallow if you're fishing like this. Um, so that's what we like to do because it saves us a lot of time. But that's one way to rig that up with the slip bobber. Okay. Now the other thing you can do is you can modify the bottle bobber. We made this indentation here, and you can poke a hole through there with an awl, or if you want to use a drill bit. You can actually run your line through that little hole where that aperture is, and you can rig this up the same way without having a sinker slide to attach to that aperture. So, I hope that answers some questions. Um, Bottle bobbers are made in the USA and Missouri. We have made at a company called MTMC Inc. in Missouri. We're from El Dorado, Kansas. Oh, I love the way that looks out there in the water. I have learned you buy good glow sticks. These really show up well. Um, but nothing's funner than watching that thing take off at night, especially for the kids uh, when you have a bite. Um, we use them to catch hybrid bass, blue cat, flathead. The guys were using them last year during the crappie spawn, the float baits. Um, so that's that. And one other cool thing we got in the works here. Right now we just have the prototypes. And we are giving away five packs of these with orders until we run out. I think we have probably only about 20 more of these left. Those are the glow in the darks. And we are working on having all bottle bobbers glow in the dark. Um, just not there yet, but we do have probably about 20 more packs of these. If you order a 10 pack, we're gonna give you these for no extra cost, okay? Guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, we are gonna be at CatCon 2022. We are booth two, right when you walk in the door. We're gonna have backpacks with the Bottle Barber logo on it um, for you. So you can stuff all the goodies you buy at CatCon in that bag and have kind of a little souvenir to take home as well. Um, so please stop by and say hi if you're there. And tight lines guys. And if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, please like and share our post. It helps us a lot. We like to give back as much as we can to the fishing community. Um, you helping support us helps us do a lot more. So thanks for watching guys. Have a good night.